evening, another way to catch criminals could soon be coming to Syracuse. Before it happens, the city watch your input. News Channel Line's Madison Moore shows us what it is, how it would work, what it would be used for, and why a community activist thinks the idea could go too far. Whether they're overhead or in our hand, these days cameras are everywhere. But the city of Syracuse is looking to enhance its watchful eye by installing automated license plate readers. And the idea is if a crime is committed and we can get some vehicle information, that we can, we can put the license plate into the system and it'll tell you if the vehicle has passed by or if we know the vehicle has passed by a certain location and we can check to see if the uh, license plate readers pick that up. The difference between this technology and the crime cameras that are already scattered around the city, these only capture images of your license plate. We think it's going to solve, help us solve crimes quicker and more efficiently. A lot of companies I've been reading can cite studies where they've shown the in, uh, decrease in crime and increase in arrest rates. But some community members are skeptical, wondering if this technology goes too far, infringing on a person's privacy. Yes, there is a concern about um, quote unquote, the proverbial big brother, where is it? Who has access to it? What is going to be done with it? When will it be destroyed? For how long will you keep it? All of those questions. So it's probably already being read, whether you realize it or not, especially if you're right in the throughway, they're always reading your license plate. It's, it's being picked up all over the place. Um, we are not doing any proactive scanning for license plates. We have to have a reason why we're going to be looking at something. Kicking crime to the curb, but keeping your constitutional rights in check. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Well, so far, SPD has identified 26 locations across the city where these cameras would be positioned on overhead traffic lights or nearby telephone poles. Public comment continues until Friday. We'll show you how to do it, how to submit a comment online. Head to localsyr.com.